in this video i would like to tell about the hybrid deep learning for botnet attack detection in the internet of things network now i would like to tell about the overview of our process deep learning is an efficient method for botnet attack detection we reduce the feature dimensionality of large scale iot network traffic data using the dimensionality reduction techniques uh, the main objective of our process is to detect the uh, attack detection from the input data by using the deep learning algorithms here we are using principal component analysis that is pca is one of the common linear transformation method while kernel method spectral methods and dl methods employ non linear transformation techniques uh, the pca is the uh, process for uh, reduce the dimensionality in our input data set then here we are using the data set name is botnet uh, bot iot data set the input data set was collected from the data set repository okay fine then we have to implement the auto encoded process it is an unsupervised deep learning method that produces latent space representation of input data at the hidden layer then we have to implement the deep learning algorithms such as long short term memory that is LSTM and convolutional neural network that is CNN finally the experimental results shows that the performance metrics such as accuracy precision recall and confusion matrix now I would like to tell about the flow of our process first we have to take our data set the data set name is bot iot the input data set was collected from the data set repository like uzi github and so on from our data set we have to take the input data then we have to implement the pre-processing technique the pre-processing means we have to remove the unwanted data or unnecessary noise in pre-processing we have to use uh, or handle missing values then label encoding uh, then normalize or scale or pre-processing uh, handle missing value means we have to check our input data if uh, is there any missing values occur in our data set if it is any missing values are present in our data set we have to replace the missing values by zeros or none values then uh, the purpose of handling missing values is to uh, avoid the wrong prediction that's why you have to handle missing values in pre-processing step the next label encoding we have to encode our data into labels for example uh, the botnet contains uh, some ddos udp tcp and so on uh, for example in one column uh, the column contains the ddos udp means we have to encode the that column uh, the output is uh, the DDoS is converted to 0 and the TCP is converted to 1 so that means the label encoding then we have to use normalize or scalar method um, python provides the pre-processing library which contains the normalize function to normalize the data the normalize the data it takes the value between 0 and 1 the next step is dimensionality reduction that is feature extraction to extract the features from our input data in this dimensionality reduction we have to use a principal component analysis that is PZA uh, the purpose of this is reduce the dimensionality uh, from our pre-processed data then we have to implement the auto encoded the auto encoded means for compressing the raw data 
that is uh, in this step uh, it has two portions uh, one is encoded then decoded first one is encode the network layer then decode the network layers uh, after that uh, we have to implement the classification algorithm uh, in this algorithm we have to implement two deep learning uh, algorithms uh, one is convolutional neural network the other one is long short term memory so the final results shows that some performance metrics like accuracy precision recall and confusion matrix so this is our flow diagram now i would like to tell about our demo that is our output part so this is the our output part just i have explained that one by one okay uh, in this step first thing uh, we have to implement the pre-processing steps so we have uh, i already said in the flow diagram first we have to check missing values for each attributes the attributes means uh, that is a column that present in our data set uh, here these are the column names each column consists uh, contains the zero missing values the zero means there is no missing values in the column in particular column so similarly here also zero it's occurred there is no missing values in flag attribute so this is the checking missing values then we have to implement this is the result for label encoding before label encoding means yeah this is a category then subcategory like then after label encoding means the ddas is converted to zero Similarly, HTTP is converted to zero. So this is the label encoding. Just uh, display the warnings, unwanted warnings. Yeah. Then this is the validate our data. Sorry. Yeah, this is the validation our data by using the auto encoded process. So this is the validation. Then we have to implement the LSTM algorithm these are the layers type and these are the uh, shape for particular layers the result for LSTM is first performance matrix there are four performance matrix confusion matrix here our result will be present 67 then precision recall right then this is the CNN uh, algorithms so this is the layer type for CNN and it is the output shape for a uh, corresponding layer then this is the performance matrix for convolutional neural networks here our accuracy is 100 percentage so uh, in our paper in base paper they implement LSTM here we are used we are used LSTM our result is 67 so in addition we have to implement the CNN algorithm we um, increase the better performance that is 100 percentage so this is the visualization graph uh, based on our uh, principal components and uh, variations so this is the output part this, this is the variables uh, which used in our process okay, this is the variable explorer okay thank you